Hi, this is Tom Rebel, and this is my second YouTube video. And I want to thank you for taking the time out to uh, watch this. And I hope you enjoy it. Uh, maybe you can learn something from it. I know these speed paintings, they're, these time lapses, they're fast, and there's not a lot to learn um, because of the speed. But uh, at this point, you'll see I'm using a vector layer over the normal raster layer, and that's to get the mechanical quality of the glasses. This is a self-portrait, and I started this by first taking a picture of myself, uh, a selfie they call them, and uh, it was straight on flash, so it was a really terrible photograph, but uh, I decided to see if I could paint it anyway, and being as my channel is about painting and speed painting, I decided to create my avatar, or as my wife calls it, an avatar. She's probably right. But at any rate, I, after the photograph, I used a grid system to transfer the lime art, and uh, then began just blocking in the color. And as you watch, you'll see the approach. One of the things that I tend to do is I try not to do too much blending. I want to see some of the strokes, because when Paintings like this are done, and they're printed on canvas. If you leave the texture, you leave some brush strokes, some line work, then it looks more like a real painting. And uh, it's tempting to over blend and to add uh, textures such as skin textures and such, and and uh, by dropping in the texture. And that creates a, a really highly polished photorealistic image. However, um, it's my feeling that the camera can already do that. And as an artist, I'm looking to, to have the quality of the, the artist, the line work, uh, the brush strokes and that still uh, visible. Also, my line art is uh, it's on this layer that we're painting on right now, and the layer layer one is what I have titled as. And uh, I do have another layer of line art, and it's up above a couple of layers. And it is uh, it's uh, checked out right now, so that you can't see it. It's not visible, but it's there in the event that I mess something up. I can pop that line art line back on and see where things went wrong. But uh, I like to have that line art tied into the painting layer so that the colors can blend together. Rather than painting over the line art, I'm kind of incorporating it. And I'm leaving some of those lines here and there. I think they add character and uh, another dimension that the camera can't or doesn't duplicate easily. Also, you'll notice that I start in a very high key. Uh, I like the values of skin to be higher because it's so easy to bring them down but it's difficult, in my opinion, especially with oil painting, to bring your values back up. So, another note on um, values and color is I never use the, the color picker, as I find that uh, I get some really weird colors from doing that, and I think that by using my own intuition that there's a little more originality in, in, the, in the work that I'm creating. I should clarify on the color picker uh, just a little here. I do use it uh, when I said never that wasn't entirely true But its use is limited to the confines of the artwork that I'm working on itself I'll pick a color next to another color within the painting to find a blended value or a, or a closer value but or color But I don't use it from my reference material. At any rate, I hope you enjoy this. Uh, I ask that if you do like it, that you'll share it with others and that you'd subscribe. I intend to be back. So thank you for watching and God bless.